गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी मेरा नाम है विवेक तिवारी और आज मैं आप सबके सामने एक टॉपिक पर छोटी सी टॉप दूंगा जो कि हाउ डू दू सी लाइफ तो आइए शुरू करते हैं सो वॉट एवर सेड यू दैट दिस वन यू सी इज एक्चुअली द टॉप कंटेंडर और बेस्ट हेज फंड मैनेजर ऑफ दू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन वॉट इफ आई टोल दिस बिल्डिंग यू सी हर is not actually the most expensive building in this photograph but actually the slum is what if i said that you are a poor person and the choices given to you are either cup of tea or at the same price health insurance and you were able to disease now taking a cup of tea would actually be the rational choice what if i said the higher the gdp per capita the lower the meaning of word life What if I say that everything you see is conditioned by the socio-economic class you come from? What you see, how you make meaning, and the choices you make. In fact, if this socio-economic class was to be stripped off, that is, if you were said to take out your glass of glasses of class you come from, then you would see that the other is just like. In fact, it's the other you. Now, what would we get by discovering this other you? Well, for one of the cool facts that I just shared with you, the other you already knows. But there's a lot more, and we will get there. But let's start here. What do you see in this picture? As you see this picture, a lot of you, I suppose, would see someone who is working really hard and earning the success. What do you call it? You call it meritocracy. Now, what does the other you see? Well, for starters, they see electricity, light, fume-free light to study in the night. That is studying without asthma because of kerosene fumes. What else do they see? They see space, comfortable space, not shared by eight people who have different agendas for the night time. They see money to pay fees. They see time to study, not to do work, not to do household chores, but to study. What do they call it? Luck. Boy, the girl's lucky. Merit and luck. Which one is it? What does the statistic say? Well, the statistic say legacy applicant. The Hampton Institute say legacy applicant, which means those who have at least one parent in an elite school have forty-five. Person more chances is to getting into an elite school. What does the statistics mean to you? Your interpretation, your choice. It's evenly split. But the point here is, you see differently. We see differently. So what? So we go to have different choices. Now let's go back to the choices again. T versus health insurance, and you know that. You are vulnerable to a disease. Which one would you pick? Insurance, huh? Yeah. Rational choice, huh? The other you taking on, sitting on this side of the glass. What would they pick? As it turns out, they pick the cup of tea. Now, that is why in Africa the penetration of Health insurance or general insurance is just zero point seventy percent. Not because there are no providers, but there are no takers. Irrational, huh? Well, hang on. Let's go to the other side and just see what's going on. So what's going on? Well, you see, there are lots of risks. There are lots of lots of risks. Income risk. The farm incomes in India are twenty-one times more fluctuated than in the U.S. There is medical risk, health risk. One out of three houses in a poor neighborhood of Udaipur is indebted because of medical expenses. What else? There we are. You know they can happen, and you know who gets affected. It's these guys. It's the other you. Even if the famine starts, or even if the district collector changes. Which means the good guy changes, who gets affected? It's the other you. So there are lots of risks. If there are risks, 
So Daniel Chung is a stupid lah. Well, hang on. Uneducated? Yes. Stupid? No. Because it doesn't actually cover the case. Right? Now this other you has met the woman next door who had a stomach infection and got it treated at the hospital. In the other one, on the other side, in other village, there's a woman whose husband was so sick, he, she spent so much money on hospitals, on doctors, on medicines, yet he died, but neither got a dime from the insurer. And the insurance had come packaged with micro loans. And neither got a dime out of it. What? Neither spent a night at the hospital. Uh, so technically the insurer was right. I mean, you should have spent a night at the hospital. I mean, you don't understand what insurance is. <laughs> Actually, I do. That's why you're doing that. Well, I'm not sure that you understand what insurance is. What goes on here? A hospital. How far is it from where I stay? Do you know that? Then I have to make sure that hospital is accredited to your system. Then I have to go there, find a doctor. It would be nice if I find a qualified staff and then give them a reimbursable bribe for getting a bed to stay dead. Man. Then I have to get these guys to give me the paperwork so I could support my claim. And then you have all the exclusions. Now you look at all of these. Which one do you think is actually the rational choice? Cup of tea. Yeah. What do you say? Look, I mean, I understand. But the company needs to have some proof. I know they need to. That's why they designed this as per their need, not mine. But it's not easy. Well, of course it's not easy. It, was, it wasn't easy to go to the moon either, was it? But you did. I did. When enough of you, brilliant minds came put together and put your energy and power to it, you did. But until then, don't worry. I've got my cup of tea. It gives me an immediate kick. A sugar high. Guaranteed. Right now, right here. But, it's cleaning, yeah? Would you like to have some? And by the way, thanks for asking. What a cup of tea means in my life. It's rare that someone asks me that what a cup of tea means to me. That. So that's this man. This man, you see here, is actually so this man here is actually a barefoot hedge fund manager. If optimizing the experience of your life is a function that they are solving for, which by the way, you yourself are for, then the regional choice over a lifetime is actually a hand, actually a bunch of cup of coffees or teas. Rather than the, health, the insurance that comes, only one of the multiple that only covers the one of the multiple risks that you face in the life and choice. This person is equally good or better than the hedge fund manager that bought you the crisis. In fact, this is the same thing or that also explains why they have this in their portfolio. They're noisy festivals which we some of us cannot understand. A study found that two months worth of saving, annual saving spent by the poor is on festivals. By the extreme poor, as referred by the World Bank or described by them, is spent in the festivals. Well, if you know for your optimizing for, if you understand the world on this side, then you know the most rational thing to do. The point is, poor are uneducated, then, but not stupid. The point is, you don't understand them, and they understand that you don't understand them. 
at the time that you say you want to understand them because they are the emerging markets they know who you turn to turn to the investment bankers who never get off the suvs turn to the politicians who get off the choppers and then vanish away you try to learn about them through these people they know and they don't even trust you actually this is the most unfortunate truth because they know some of you and i also want to get in those suvs and choppers they know the rest of us will allow them to they know that rest of us will allow a corrupt system to flow even call it convenient because guess what from this side the world is actually is but on this side the world it hurts it really really hurts it hurts it hurts a lot okay so you got it thank you